Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Gothic 2 New Balance. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We are gonna continue our adventure. In the last episode we discovered the arena in the coastal region here on Oswald's farm. And Scar is now uh, taking care of it. I think we can uh, fight in it as well. I haven't, uh, I haven't done it yet. We will you eventually go and do it. But we also got uh, the third circle of magic in the last episode, which is pretty cool. We got some uh, some new spells. Square this makes me think Galahad should have some spells for me as well. Yeah. I've got another stone tap. I... Okay. We need an upgrade to the armor, but I don't know, maybe in chapter 3, maybe we're gonna get some upgrade in chapter 3. I've come for my share. What are you doing here? And what, isn't it obvious? I'm waiting for someone to toss me some work. Now that Fernando has been arrested, I've been left with absolutely nothing to do. And why didn't you try to find a job in the city? Who would take me on for work? Fernando's dirty dealings have affected my reputation too. And in our business, this is a very important moment. Understood. And how is your progress? As you can see, there's not much to brag about. Is there anything interesting? I'm afraid there's nothing to rejoice. Okay, okay. Galahad. What is he? Alan. Wait a minute. Where have you disappeared, Alan? I haven't seen you. What? Where is he going? Is there a secret hideout to the scouts or something? Hey! Hilarious. How's it going? What business is it? He doesn't want to talk. Don't mind. <laughs> Rob the Paladins. <laughs> nice. Lord Hagen, we cannot uh, talk to him about nothing anymore for for now. <coughs> but I'm here for Galahad. Hey, uh, teach teach me how to create freshness. Summon stone golem. The stone golem should could be. Good. Hmm. So I don't know how good how good can it be. <laughs> Teach me. Second. Lindsay. Teach me. Someone wolf. Oh. Uh. Someone work. How many points do I have? Twenty. Uh. Hey. Should we? Teach me.
na na gonna maybe later but I don't have enough points and I don't want to waste them for for this and I'm uh, I'm short on gold as well <laughs> I could borrow another 5000 from Hey, tell over here and pay him back, but show me. Any. Need some ectoplasm. I don't know where to get that. Lend me some money. No. Maybe you know. Oh, he's got one. Let's see if Constantino has one. Please do. We also have a murder of Ignaz too. Investigate. I think Constantino is drinking in the pub. And in this place, order and chaos were equal, and so the sea. Yes, he is. Show me Show your words. He doesn't have ectoplasm. The land, and there are all uh. creatures, trees as well as animals, wolves. As well as sheep. That's sad. We need to kill a ghost. Do you know anything about the murder of the alchemist Ignatz? I'm afraid not. I have no idea who could have done it. And why are you asking? Lord Andre told me that the poor fellow was poisoned. And all this leads me to certain thoughts. What are you hinting at? About the fact that recently you asked me to get you a potent poison for some of your experiments. Oh, I swear it wasn't me. I never even thought of doing such a thing. We have always been quite friendly with Ignat, and I am very upset with what happened. I have nothing to do with this. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let's say I believe you for now. And Enos gave unto him a portion of his divine power. How could I buy a necklace? I don't think Neymar has one, but let's see just in case. Hey, leave you. me alone. Show me your. No, no, he doesn't. the traders that I missed. Yes. Brotherhood. Maybe this guy up here. Не думаю, что я хочу слышать об этом. Wait, wait. I did not uh, pickpocket these guys. <laughs> Balo. The Bar Baltion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he doesn't talk to me if I'm, I'm not a uh, part of the Brotherhood, apparently. Oh, we got a scroll of Firestone from there. Come closer, every newcomer here. Not now, tell us. Nice. <laughs> I 
think he's gonna give me swamp weed. What gift? Yeah. Here are three cigarettes with marshmallow. Very potent stuff. You can take a swamp creature from me every day, but if you want more than the usual <laughs> portion, you'll have to pay. And if you come across any herbs or berries on the road, bring them. Let's swap. Let's trip. What do you need from? Huh. Oh. He's got some plants. Guru's inspiration. 3,000 gold. It's expensive. That's exactly what I It's uh, gonna pickpocket everybody. He's back here from Jarkanda. So, how do you like it here? This one Much better than there at the Crows Camp. I couldn't even dream of such a place. But thanks to you, uh, now I am your eternal debtor. That's so cool. We got plus one mana. It's good. I've got swamp weed for you. Giving me gold for one. And gold for one swamp weed. The sleeper led Uberion no. and his devoted disciples to this place where they founded a temple. Hey, do I have any sleep spell? They do. toil day in and day out, week after week, month after month. No, nothing. That's disappointing. <laughs> I thought he's gonna say something, but I think we need to have the quest for that. Together they tried to communicate with the sleeping person on a spiritual level. Okay, I had enough uh, pickpocketing people. The visions became clearer, but the spiritual force of the Brotherhood one was a insufficient and I think we can pick pickpocket almost anybody right now. We took it uh, a bit too high, but hey, I want to challenge for? I want to challenge. What do you want? I need to secure. What do you say about? Do you want to get my voice? Yes. Hmm. Well, you've killed the snorting creature. You are really if. I forgot to ask for his uh, approval. Have you heard of How? I can Okay. We're done with gun.
No lizard, no. Okay. Come on, wisp. Loot. I think already, she already looted every, everybody. This part is clear. Nice. Okay, I am gonna go back to Rajal. Hello, Andre. Not too bad. Not too bad. How's it going? I wanna. I wanna go to the west coast in this episode. Uh, we do have a few. Quests that we should do, but uh, most of them are okay. I'm not gonna miss out or anything. And we have a a quest that we were uh, talking to the to Fejal about about the history of the. Druids? Where is it? Even though there's been so many. No, I haven't been yet. Hey, you! You need to poison. Was that reducing my damage with magic as well? Your melee and range combat will reduce 50%. by the poison damage does not work with stuffs, maces, magic words. Yeah, so it's pointless for me to do that. No, nope, hey. we're not gonna learn that. Wait, what about the shaman? Could I have been Seventy five per cent damage from normal hey. spells. No, never mind, no shaman. <laughs> okay, let's uh, hear about the the history of the druid. Because he's got the the story is not uh, over yet. Tell me what happened next. Okay, listen up. The tablets do not mention how the battle between the lizards and druids in Corinus ended. However, since then, lizards no longer appeared in the lands of the druids in Merton, which means it was not in vain. Nobody knows what happened there. After some time, other people learned about the island of Corinus and began to settle it. As you understand, the people who arrived on the island didn't find any monster beasts here, did they? Apparently, the druids defeated most of the lizards in that battle, and the lizards left these lands. But that's just my assumption. The people who arrived on the island heard the story about the druids and were grateful to them. They also began to worship Adonis and build their civilization here. I think you already have an idea of who those people were. They were the architects. Yes, you are absolutely right. 
those whom the water mages called the Builders, the first people who sailed to Corinus. As the records say, along with the people, Druids arrived here, descendants of those Druids who battled the Beast Men. Mm. These people began building a settlement in the north of Corinus because the climate there is milder. The Druids, however, began to carefully explore the island. Throughout the island, they left behind objects of their culture as well as ritual stones. These are exactly the stones that you use as teleporters. They still possess their former magical power. Interesting story. Keep listening! <laughs> At some point, the Druids completely separated from the other people on the island. They went south, exactly where the dense forests were, which my people loved so much. Several centuries later, a flood struck the northern part of the island. The druid who left the tablets assumed that it was the wrath of Adonos. People in that part of the island did something, something bad. However, by that time, people had already settled in Mertana and the southern part of Corinus. So only those who lived in the northern part of the island perished. The country in the northern part of the island was called Erkendar. I think that's all for today. Yes, the stories are getting more and more interesting. Interesting, interesting. Hey, you! Okay. Let's ask him how to become a druid. How did you become a druid? Since childhood, I was taught to master the magic of the druids. I was raised by druids. We all lived together in a sanctuary, in a place that you would call a monastery. It was located in the Valley of Mines on a high cliff overlooking the eastern coast of the valley. However, about ten years ago, something happened that you, of course, have heard about. A magical barrier appeared over the valley. No one expected that this could happen. I was a courier and often visited the city of Corinus. At the moment the barrier appeared, I was in the city, so I didn't end up trapped in the Valley of the Mines. So lucky. For the first time after the barrier appeared, I lived with my acquaintance a magician named Galahad. However, Galahad soon had a conflict with the city authorities, and he was expelled from the upper quarter. I didn't want to live in the harbor of Corinus, so I moved here to the forest. Since then, I've been living here alone. And a few weeks ago, the barrier fell. The first thing I did was go to our monastery, however. Instead of it, I only saw ruins. As it turned out, the monastery had been destroyed even before the barrier fell. Not finding any of my brothers, I decided to check our secret storage. It turned out to be untouched. There, I found alchemical recipes, as well as stone tablets. And they have already piqued my interest. In one of the Elder Druids' records, I found a mention of the western coast. It mentioned that the Druids wanted to go there. The senior Druid believed that there was a powerful source of magic located there. The stone tablets that were in our monastery date back to very ancient times. And I would really like to find that out. And how do you want to find that out? The only way to go there yourself. But getting to the coast is very difficult. I don't have a boat. Moreover, mm. doing it alone is extremely dangerous. Perhaps we could go there together. Yes, but it will require a lot of effort and time. All right. I think that's all I can tell you. Okay, do you want... Do you know how to... Where Cormac might have to Do you gone? know yeah. where Cormac might have gone? He has always been interested in the history of the Druids, and dreamed of exploring the West Coast, where the battle between the ancient Druids and Beast Masters took place. But Cormac was always busy, so he had no time to explore that part of the island. And what if he went there specifically? Possibly, but we can't get there. You can't sail there in a regular boat, it's dangerous. And what if I find the ship? Then we could get there, I think. But we don't know what might be waiting for us there. If I want to explore that part of the island, I'll let you know. I will be waiting for your response. It promises to be interesting, even if Korbaka is not there. Okay. I want to explore the west coast. I would like that too, but we need a ship. I will handle this. We will also need supplies. Ten bottles of water, five loaves of bread. This is for starters. You can take ten pieces of meat for yourself. I don't eat them, as you understand. Anything else? Yes, take no less than five bottles of pure alcohol. We might need them for potions. It seems that's all. I will get everything that is needed. Okay, we got the provisions. We already have everything. 
I have prepared a supply of provisions. Excellent. I'll keep it with me. And also, I wanted to tell you something. Most of the herbs and potions I have now, I won't take with me, so I'll sell them to Galahad. If you need them, then you will be able to buy them from him later. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, that's so cool. You at the port. Hey. That's so cool. He said he's gonna meet us at the harbor. Let's uh, go to Karenis. Because we need to get the... Uh, get a ship in order to go to the west coast and we have our uh, ship uh, constructor over, over there in the left but first let's talk to Monty over here and back to work are you oh man they didn't get anything done while I was gone now I'll have to delve into those construction plans again oh well don't let me keep you then <laughs> <laughs> all right have a good trip Okay, Monty. Garvel over here. Let's tell him about the paladins first. I know why the paladins are here. Really? Tell me! The paladins are here to get the magical ore from the Valley of Mines, not because they expect the orcs to attack the city. As soon as they've got the ore, they're going to return to the mainland. Thanks for the information. The way it looks, we have all the time in the world for building our ship. <laughs> What's going on at the harbor? Look around for your. And how's it going now? Monty is back. He's busy studying the plans. Maybe we can get the ship done now. Nice. I need a ship. Dude, if I had a ship, I would have gotten out of here a long time ago. Can you build it? What do you think we are doing? We work from morning till night. But we won't finish anytime soon. I need a ship as soon as possible. Do you also want to sail away from here and not come back? No, I need to get to a remote part of the island. So you need to swim along the coast? For that, a ship is not at all necessary. We just need a bigger boat. I have exactly one like that. In principle, I won't need it anymore. You can't cross the sea with it anyway. I can sell it to you. I want to buy a boat from you. Hold on, dude. Let's discuss everything from the beginning. What do you suggest? Someday I will leave this place, and when I arrive on the mainland, I don't want to be there without money. Understood. How much? I think 5,000 gold coins will be enough. 5,000. Okay. Is that all? I will need one day to prepare the boat. And most importantly, when I start lowering the boat into the water, the militia will become interested in where I am headed. Therefore, you must sort out this issue with Lord Andre yourself. Okay, I will do everything. Interesting, interesting. Oh, we can get it with 3,000 <clears throat> 3, if we have rhetoric. I want to buy a boat from you, but I only have 3,000 coins with me. Dude, I told you 5,000. Your boat is just sitting idle anyway. You yourself said that it can't cross the sea. And you're a sly one. Well, okay, fine. Tomorrow I will prepare the boat. Nice. We get a boat. Let's uh, talk with Lord Andre and get his approval. We need him to... to be okay with uh, us sailing away. <coughs> I need permission to launch the boat into the water. Permission? I want to sail along the coast of the island to the north. For this, Garvel will prepare a boat for me. Hmm. I don't see any reasons for the ban. I will notify the militia not to interfere with Garwell. But is there anything in that part of the island? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Good luck to you. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Let's save. We need to go and tell Garvel. Nice and easy. What's going on? Look up. Wow. 
Well, I think we need to wait until morning. He said he needs a day to make it to, to get it ready. So we might need to wait until morning. Um, I've been thinking. Maybe we can uh, defeat the phantom now. So let's try. <coughs> I need some ectoplasm anyway. How many do I have? I have do I have two? Yes, we have two ectoplasm. We have three, we can go to Xardas and uh, get one uh, a spell. And if we open that chest. The ghosts should spawn. I guess. Go. Okay, they're not ghosts. They're skeletons, not ghosts. Come on. Benson, hello. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to the west coast. There's an entire quest line with the druids. It's very interesting. We have a quest with uh, history of druid and and men. It's a very long uh, quest log over here, but druid F fragile told me what he knew in the history of the druids. The ancient history, they worshipped Adonis, were in harmony with the nature. Once upon a time, the Draconians invaded the land of the druids. Then, uh, they, apparently the Draconians were already able to work the metal, which means they, uh, they could live in this world even before the first humans. It's very interesting. There's a, there's a story. They they went and um, attacked the Draconians. They followed them from the mainland all the way to the Draconians' uh, hometown, which was on the island of Carinus. And uh, the, the tablets don't really say what happened with the between between the druids and the draconians but obviously nothing good <laughs> nice I don't know what other creatures are in the forest over here. I'm kind of risking it. If I, if I find the shadow beast, I'm gonna be in trouble. But that place, we haven't been here. Gina? Do you want to do something useful? Thank you, Gina. Okay. Rule of Fire Rain. 
Didn't I get an ectoplasm by mistake? <laughs> that would that would have been easy. No. No, I did not. Experiment. Have a piece of paper over here called the experiment. Oh, and there's a ladder as well. Ooh. Elixir of stamina. That was stupid. But we should have I'm gonna I'm gonna read the experiment in a bit. <clears throat> Is this full of zombies? It is. I thought the demon hunters are uh, gonna take it over. Gina, what was that? Okay, big skeleton here. <laughs> I don't know who they're gonna fight, but uh, they're fighting each other. Gonna attack me now. Go. Go. <laughs> it's so funny. want to get hit by him. I think he's gonna hurt. That should be it. Bye bye. Oh, we finished Arculus. That's that's good. I, I loved it. Have you seen... Uh, there is a scar in this uh, mod. I just uh, met him in the last episode. Level up! We leveled up. I don't have the mana. Wow. Wow, wow. What was that punch, my dude? Wow. Some damage he has there. Statue of Venus and old note from the mana. Got uh, the experiment. This is not uh, a quest we can we can do anymore. I don't think so. We're not a demon hunter. This looks like a door. 
don't think it is though, but it looks like one. Then. This is it, there's nothing else here. But I'm gonna activate the teleporter. Just to have it uh, active. Yes. Okay, I'm going back. We did not get a ghost from here. It was a ghost before, but apparently not anymore. How am I gonna get a ghost? I know. I think. I think I know. Yeah. Dick. I have a. It would be too easy if you would sell the ectoplasm. <laughs> well, we're, we're gonna trigger the... the second keeper. We need to do it anyway, so we might as well. Let me save. The second keeper will be in waiting for us in front of Xardas' tower once we approach it. But we need to approach the front entrance here. Abuin in town told me a prophecy and he said uh, next to the rock so you're here? that appeared yes, overnight. After all, they told me a lot about you. So you, the keeper? Then I have found you, and here I thought I'd spend the rest of my life in this search. You could not find me. Alright, it's fine. Daggett likes everything to be by the book, so I'll ask a stupid question. What do you need from me? I have come to ask for your consent to initiate me into the adepts of the Circle of Guardians, Master. Oh, Element, how unexpected. But you know you must fulfill one of my conditions first. Yes, Master, I must undergo your test. Alright. Then let's not waste time in vain. Are you ready to accept my challenge? Yes, Master, I am ready. Excellent. So I, Moius, the second guardian of the god Biliar, and the eighth keeper of the sacred halls of Vakana, give you your second trial. The fact that Lucian is dead is, of course, good, but your actions with Dagath have provoked the wrath of the God of Darkness. This demon was a collector of souls for the Dark God. He devoured the souls of his victims for his master. We, the Guardians, cannot allow this and naturally know how to tame the fury of the Dark God. That's mm -hmm. why Belia was so outraged when Lucian was overthrown. He needs those souls. And how are we going to give them back to him? It's quite simple. Souls can be extracted from a demon's heart. And in the monastery, the fire mages have a book that details how to accomplish this. Find this book and follow the instructions then go to the nearest altar of the Dark God and serve a prayer service, offering as a gift what is mentioned in the book. Here, take the heart, cherish it. Yes, and also, don't forget about the ring Daggett gave you, and remember that Beliar is treacherous and cruel, 
even to those who serve him. Do everything I told you, and you will have my approval. Go ahead. Interesting. So, he gave us uh, the heart of Lucian. We need to... Make a, an offering to Belia. He said the fire mages have a, a book that describes the method to extract the, the souls out of the heart of a demon. Okay. We come into the monastery. If we go down here, once we have this dialogue with Morius, or what's his name? I think it's Morius. We will. Um, let me turn off the wisp. Once we talk with Morius, a book will uh, appear on the table over here. It won't be on the table until then. Sacrificed souls. We come here to take the book. And read it, obviously. Hmm. On rhetoric, on intellect. And uh, this will tell us uh, about a method, how to do it. And... Uh, it's soul extract. <clears throat> the ingredient is uh, the heart of Lucian, black pearl, sulfur, aquamarine, swampweed, mana, whatever. We make the potion. Curious if I can uh, access the prayer room over here. Oh, I can't. They wouldn't let me in before. Rinus. In us. Yes. Oh no. I can't even use the karma I have. This is not fair. Hmm. But once I, I join the Dark Lord, I cannot uh, use the karma within us. That's not fair. Actually, looks amazing. The place where the divine power is stronger than ever. Here you can pray to Enos, and if you, if he's merciful, you will receive his blessing. There's nothing I can help him with right now. Maybe later, he said. Okay, we have the heart of Lucian, the potion. Let's uh, go back to Xardus' tower. Because we need to pray at that altar. There's uh, an altar up here. Thing is, Morius also told us, don't forget about the ring that uh, Dagot gave us. That ring is somewhere here. This one with the exclamation mark. We need to wear this. Otherwise, Beliar will curse us. Beliar! Ask for... Uh... No. 
house. Sacrificial gift. What? Really? <clears throat> there were not that many before, were there? 100 intellect. Magic power 5%, 250 health. Gift received. <coughs> Decrease requires 500 health. Decrease intelligence requirements for control by 20%. Okay, I got 700 life left. But this is interesting. I'm paying with life, not with karma. Spirit development, maximum mana plus 5. 25 karma. Maximum summon creature plus 1. 125. Maybe later. I need to save up for this. No, for this increase periodic damage by 10%. If the belly are ten intellect for fifty karma, also good. Hmm. Karma plus two. Need gold. Prime it as all. 200. Okay. Special gifts. Increase periodic damage by 10%. Nice. The periodic damage should be greater now. Okay, before we pray to Belia, let me save because uh, we did. A bit of improvements here, I think. What is it? I don't know if it shows it. No. Magic power. Special gifts of the gods here. Ancient speed. Nah, the one I, the ones I, I learned. They're not among those. It's fine, it's fine. Pray for the offering of sacrificial gift. Fatagn Shatar Fatagn Beliar. That was cool. Sprinkle the, the altar with the soul extract. Dark Lord has accepted your gift. The power of the Guardian Ring has protected. Yeah, so because I had the ring equipped, I've been protected by that. Uh, that curse that Belia just uh, did. My health is so low, I'm, I got. I paid like half of my health for the for the magic in damage increase. But I got magic power 16% now. I think that should be good. I do need to wear a robe. Yeah. Hmm. I wanna don't not teach me nothing. Not right now, at least. I learned everything. Curious what what's gonna be new in chapter three with uh, with this class that I chose. Because there must be some other like passive abilities. Maybe I don't know. 
Let's uh, give Modius over here. Well, let's tell him that we fulfilled his quest. Second. There we go. I did what you asked. I paid tribute to the Dark God. Yes, I felt it the moment Belial accepted your gift. The Dark God got what he wanted, and now everything has fallen into place. Every single uh, mission that they give us, it's uh, a small piece of the puzzle on the grand scheme of things because uh, they they prepare the, f the battlefield in a way. They take out uh, some uh, problematic factors that they don't like using me, giving me these tests, so-called tests. And uh, by the end we're gonna find out that th these were just to help them uh, achieve their goals faster <coughs> it was not uh, not about the balance or anything will you give me your consent now master yes of course you did everything as needed and therefore i give it to you moreover i know that beliar attempted to claim your soul too only the power of the ring saved you from his curse. And I see you shown wisdom, not forgetting my advice. Now seek the next one of us, and may the force of the elements be with you. Goodbye. <laughs> that was the second keeper, Morius. Now we need to find the third one to get the next... Uh, Next, next task. But... I will have to wait for now. Cause... Hey, you! I don't... I don't think I have more tasks. Did pretty much all of them, I think. Ruins. Oh, okay, I see. That's in Jarkanda. I think we can challenge Falk. Hey, you! Hunting strange monsters. There is no dubbing for this. But apparently there are some more creatures to be hunted. Farm of pair of presents. Okay. Hold. Okay, fishermen. They're not um, dubbed. Okay. Come circles. We're gonna go. We're gonna go hunt them before we challenge him. Teach me how to. Okay. And then in the morning we're gonna go to the. Actually, regarding the search, this remind me. Let's let's go kill the. The mantis that uh, supposedly killed Ben. And Jack and Darian. We're gonna go. Come back to him. Uh, water mages.
I was a bit too weak to do it when I was uh, there last time. Where is it? The swamp. And the camp. Swamp. Gina. Let's summon Gina. The wisp as well. The mantis should be. Yeah. There it is. Mantis. No, leave Gina alone. Stay here, Gina. Almost died. Okay. I'm out of mana. I missed. Come on. There we go. The search. The quest log. Ben Kenobi. <laughs> skill bow skill bonus plus ten. Amulet of the Hunter. The words Ben Kenobi are engraved on the on the back. As in um, the the uncle of uh, oh grandfather whatever of Falk. Let's go back to Falk and tell him what we found because uh, it's gonna have a, a connection with the west coast where we're going right now and since we're going there we're better off doing this Hey now. you! Regarding my search Regarding my searches Yes, are there any news? You guessed right, I really did find out something. Then don't drag it out, speak up. Here, I found this old amulet. The name Ben Kenobi is engraved on its backside. Yes, I am familiar with this object. So, we were not mistaken? Where did you find it? In the stomach of one creature killed by me, a huge female praying mantis. Now everything is clear. It seems that this thief has finished off my grandfather. Grandfather. All right, nothing can be done about it now. But I thank you for your help. And as a sign of my gratitude, please accept this modest reward from me. Give me a thousand gold. Okay, let's save. What is it? Three o'clock? Wait a sec. Uh, mystery of the portal. Have a blood. What's up? No. Serious murder. Could uh, talk to people about that. That's gonna take a while, so we're gonna do the quest later with Ignaz's uh, assassination. Oh, come on, wolf! There you go. <laughs> oh, 
comes close. Lurker. Wolf. Lurker. Okay. That should be it for this uh, forest. There's a few goblins over here, I think. Yeah. Oh, come on, get hit. Garvel is ready to prepare the boat. Let's go. Harbor. Hello, Garvel. Is my boat ready? Everything is ready for departure. As you can see, yes. You can sail away at any moment convenient for you. Fair winds! Thank you very much. And now... There it is. This boat is ours. <coughs> Let's uh, tell Fragile. Actually, no. That, is there a bench here? No. Shift V. We'll open the sleeping bag and we can sleep a few hours. Let's uh, sleep for. Yeah. Just to, to have a little bit of light. And turn off the lamp. <laughs> Everything is ready to set sail. Then let's not waste time. Great, follow me and don't lag behind. Also, I'm gonna wear the, the robe. Right. We're off. We're setting sail. I think we'll get there within a day. I hope everything will be all right. Everything will be perfect. We can skip it by pressing G or R. But uh, I'm not gonna. This is cool. Having a boat ride. It's fragile over here. Let's speed it up though. That reminded me, we need to find the other pieces of that uh, piece of paper. We found a piece of paper over there. And left, I know. I don't know how it's called, but. Uh, not this. <laughs> the boat. The boat leaves and I remain behind with the paper open. <laughs> Finally, we've arrived at the coast. Oh. This is interesting. It doesn't have anything to say yet. This is a new map. We're gonna have so many things to explore around here. <laughs> it's gonna take a while until we arrive. The island on the right, we'll have to raft to it later. There might be something valuable there. 
Aha. Gonna have to visit that place later. That's uh, we're gonna find somebody over there. Ahead, I see a beach. That's where we'll land. <laughs> I I heard the dialogue, but not in English. Sounds good. It seems there is someone on the beach. We have arrived, Frigil. Are they... Are they friendly? <laughs> There's two uh, pirates over here and they're part of Greg's crew. got an alligator over there. They will ask us to kill the, the lurkers and monsters on the on the beach here, so we might as well do it. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. I didn't mean to press one space I wanted to put the other spell on. Damn it. I didn't save, I didn't save. Hey. No way. Well. It happens. What can I say? We're gonna skip the trip with the boat. Hopefully. Gonna be quick. Sleep until morning. I can't believe I didn't save. I died. Everything's ready. Great. Let's go. G. Yes. You can skip it straight away. Finally, we've arrived at the coast. I can't skip it here, but we can uh, pass forward a little bit. Well, you cannot save, okay? <clears throat> the island on the right, we'll have to raft to it later. There might be something valuable there. The camera will go wild a little bit. Beach. But... That's where we'll land. Can't it really control it. Someone on the beach. And there we go. Let's go talk to the pilots. Forget, forget the alligators. And uh, let's save before I die again like a noob. There should be an ancient runic tile in here. To activate this uh, portal, we do have a few. But there should be another one in the chest here, I think. Yes, there it is. 
and also a map of this area. Let's let's see it. <clears throat> so the yellow part is the beach where we are right now. And there's uh, the woods. This is cool. It didn't look like this before. This is very cool. I like it. I like it so much. The map it's amazing. Yes. Oh, -ho. okay. It's gonna be interesting. I wonder what else they changed. Let's talk with these guys, Edward. Let's let's pickpocket him. <laughs> oh, nothing. Okay. The other guy then. Wow, but... where did you all come from looking so beautiful? We've sailed in on a boat, and who are you? My name is Flint, I'm a sailor. What are you doing here? I thought this part of the island was uninhabited. That's right, we ended up here by accident. Mm. And who is that with you? My acquaintance, Antravnik. Clear? But make yourself comfortable, let's talk. Hey! Big pocket. How did you get here? Hmm. You've already guessed that we're not just sailors, right? It's immediately obvious to you. We walk not far from the coast of Kurnus and Beller would have a go. The very first ship we encountered on our path turned out to be a royal frigate. We were blown to smithereens, and my favorite captain is most likely dead. Just unlucky. What else is there to say? And how did you manage to survive? Well, it was already getting dark. And it was clear that we could not win this battle. You and Edward just jumped into the boat. There was no chase. Everything was in smoke. Visibility was almost zero. After a few hours, we were thrown out here. I don't know what happened to the others. Understood. <laughs> this is the same story Greg told me. Greg, your captain. Where did you find out? I met him in Corinus. He's alive. Yes, that's wonderful news. Edward, did you hear? We should drink to that. Such a weight off my chest. Did you set up these tents yourselves? No, they've already been here. Apparently my fellow craftsmen once landed on the coast to replenish supplies. But I myself am here for the first time. Honestly, the situation is not straightforward. What's the matter? We almost have no food and our water supplies are running out. But the worst thing is that we have no weapons. The boat got caught in a storm and my sword fell overboard. And Edward is still young. He even left her on the ship. Yeah, it's a sad story. Okay. What are you going to do next? Let's sort out the provisions and then we'll think. Is your boat still capable of taking us away from here? I don't think so. It started leaking when we were sailing here. It's a pity, as we don't have any resin. And what are you even doing here? We are looking for one person. Most likely he lives in this part of the island. Oh, come on. There's nobody here. These are wild places. We'll still try to find it. Good luck to you. Okay. I can help you with the weapon. Well, you know, if you found us two pirate savers, it would solve half of our problems. We are like without hands without them. I'll think of something. I don't have the pirate sabers because I sold them. How are things with the provisions? But we're gonna find some. Almost out. There are fewer problems with water here. It rains often. And there's hardly any food left. Then I will try to solve this issue. Thank you. Well, then I will take care of the water. Where can I find some food? There is a lot of game in these forests, especially scavengers. How much meat do you need for the time being? 20 pieces will be enough. Okay. I got that. Here's the meat. Let's calculate it now. Uh, Beller would have taken him. I won't. You did a good job. And while you were gone, uh, I filled up with water. Here, take it. Save the day. Okay. Have you seen any other people here? What are you talking about? There's no one here but us. It's unlikely anyone lives here. 
wait a minute, Edward was saying that he saw someone in the forest. Ask him, though you won't get even a couple of words out of him. <laughs> yeah, Edward's hey. story is funny, but also true. What about the animals? What about them? There's a whole bunch of them there. Should I get rid of them? It would be nice. These whites cannot attack outright. So I went. Okay. Let's talk to Edward first. Also with Rachel. And I want to learn about poisons. If you've made that decision, then I will teach you poisons. Take this potion and drink it. The effect can be painful. I'm used to it. I'm not gonna drink it. But I want to get rid of the dialogue. What will we do next? If you don't mind, I'll stay on the beach for now. I need to rest. Yes, of course. Have you seen any other people here? No, I haven't seen it. But Flynn said... On the first day after our arrival, I went into the forest. The terrain there is dangerous. I sneaked past the snitches. Saw a boar at the edge of the forest. And what's so special about that? You see, I came quite close and he was looking at me. And it even seemed to me that he winked. <laughs> as if it wasn't a boar at all. Funny. And what did you do after that? Nothing. I didn't have a weapon to pin him down with anyway. Slowly and quietly, I returned to our camp on the shore. Understood. Okay, so he saw a boar looking at him. Okay. Go, go, go. Let's drink some mana potions. Let's see, can I make that mine? <laughs> yes. That's so cool. <laughs> go, go, go. Bye bye, alligator. You're not going to kill me again. Young alligator. Well, do you know what do you say? He's gonna freaking kill me. Bye bye. <laughs> <clears throat> I think that's it. I don't know.
Well done, Gina. Well done. Anybody else? Let's save. Or we we get to jump again. Dangerous lurker. <clears throat> I think these are the ones that we need to kill. For the pirates. Yep, threat on the beach. Those were the ones. Black Goblin. Okay. Yeah, we pretty much cleared everything. Let's tell them. Hey! Hey, Flint. I killed the beasts near the forest. So you really don't want to join our team? We need guys like you. No, I have enough things to do as it is. <laughs> Here, take it. They were lying around in my pockets. Thank you. We will go searching in the forest. Go look for your friend. Good luck to you. NNM will come in handy. Hold on, I just remembered something here. About two days ago, I heard some sort of humming. It was coming from the direction of the forest. What was it like? I don't know. I've never heard anything like it before. Be on the alert. There could be anything. Thank you for the warning. That's very interesting, that humming that he's mentioned. It's, uh... A very cool hey. thing. Are you ready? Yes, and I have an idea of how we can find Cormac. And how exactly? It's hard to explain, but we druids can sense the magic of other druids. If the bait lives nearby, then I will be able to feel it. So you're going first. And another thing, the forest creatures will not touch me. Be on your guard. All right. All right. Gonna unsummon Gina. Gonna save before we enter the forest. Yep. Here we go, Cromac. This way, nobody will attack me. Well, almost nobody. Dave? This. This is so crazy. It's amazing, I, I love that smoke, the sound and everything, it looks like... Did you see and hear that too? Yes, let's not linger. Whatever it was, it might come back. Then let's go. Okay. I'm transforming into a boar because uh, I'm not gonna get attacked by the monsters if I'm... Uh, a monster myself and he's a druid that's why he's okay 
but I'm not, so I'm gonna get attacked. So many plants and I'm missing them. The wisp is not working in this form. Save. I'm only gonna take the king soil. <coughs> I'm gonna leave the others because they look pretty. And there is Cormac. The druid. Who are you, travelers? And how did you get here? We arrived from Corinus. Wait, Frigil, is that you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> is your name Cormac? What? Where are you from? We arrived on the coast in search of you. Me? But who would need me? Frigel has long wanted to find you, and I decided to help him. Oh, that's how it is. So we haven't made this whole journey for nothing. Certainly not in vain. How many years have passed? We have so much to discuss. Enter the cave, friends. Okay. Wait a minute. We found Cormac. The druid. <clears throat> and we got to the portal stone over here. Also... The reading uh, table. The ciphering table or whatever. And how did you end up here? Oh, it was such a long time ago. Now I will tell you everything. As you probably already know, we lived in a monastery in the Valley of Mines. Fragile was a courier in Corinis, as well as a pretty good alchemist. I specialized in turning into animals. We druids lived in seclusion. It lasted quite a while, but then something happened. I was in the eastern forest in Corinis when a bright flash occurred in the sky. There was a huge surge of magical energy. I'm talking about the magical barrier over the Valley of Mines. The magic was so strong that I lost consciousness. Unfortunately, at that moment, I was in the guise of a wolf. When I came to, I could no longer turn into a human. For two months, I lived in the guise of a beast until I finally gained the strength to return to my former appearance. When I reached the Valley of Mines, I couldn't do anything. My brothers ended up trapped inside the barrier. Perhaps I could get inside, but return back. I lacked the courage and had to go back to the city. I wanted to ask for help from the wizard Galahad, but he was put in prison. I wasn't even allowed to see him. I don't know what happened there, but Larius was furious. I rented a room in the port district for a couple of weeks. Fortunately, I had money since I was carrying out a task for the senior druid. And what happened next? I realized that nothing was keeping me in Corinus. The druids were cut off from the world by a barrier. I couldn't help them in any way. With all the money I had, I bought a boat, tools and food supplies. I have always dreamed of exploring the west coast of the island. You do know what this place is famous for, right? Yes, Friegel told me. Upon arriving here, I found this cave and settled in. I had a lot of time and to top it off all the necessary tools. I was even able to build a fireplace. Its chimney goes out into a crack in the mountain. Since then, I've started living here. Yes, an interesting story. Okay, so... He spent two months in the guise of a beast. That's something. What now? I think we should take a break. We've come a long way. I'm so happy to meet an old friend. If anything, I'll be here. I have so much to discuss with him. Wait, I have a question. What is it? How did you even get here? Just like you in a boat. Hmm, understood. 
And do you plan to return the same way? No. I've seen the Druid Stone. I'm using it. What? You're saying that you can awaken the stones of ancient Druids? Yes, special signs are needed for this. Ah, that's what it's about. And I kept wondering how to activate them. Does that mean you can come back here at any time? Yes, what is it? Guy, that's wonderful. Then I will have a request. I'm listening. Buy me bread and wine. Oh, how long it's been since I've had a drink or eaten anything like <laughs> this. No problem. How much? Five loaves and three bottles will be enough. Okay. If it comes to that, I will be able to sell you goods for gold. I will use it to buy food or something I need from the city. Agreed. Okay. Can I help you with something? Actually, yes, but we barely know each other. Spill it! You see, I'm not so young anymore, and my turnip has just ripened. Do you want me to pack it for you? If it's not too much trouble for you. The main thing is to pull it very carefully. All right, I'll bring you a turnip. And he needs the turnips. And where did you get the sheep? Well, there's no secret here. On the coast stands a tower built by paladins. Occasionally, supplies and livestock were delivered there. And then the tower was abandoned. I don't know what happened to them there, but once in the forest, I saw those very sheep. Apparently, they ran away from the militia or were just abandoned. I called them to me and they went. I'm still a druid after all. Since then, I've been taking care of them. Understood. Interesting. What tower? What about the tower? It is located beyond the forest by the sea. Under no circumstances should you go to her. I feel an alien magic there. Some of the trees near this place have died. I don't know what happened, but something terrible. I will definitely go there. You are brave. I never even tried to get close to her. <laughs> I'm a magician of the dark arts, Cormac. Let's ask him about the... Uh, actually, let's save first. And ask him if we can become a, a student. I want to become your apprentice. Do you already know the basics? Yes, I can turn into animals. Formerly, you're already a druid. But as I understand it, you want something more? Yes, I need the druid stone. Clear? You helped Frigil find me. That is enough for me to teach you. If you have firmly made up your mind, then I will take you as an apprentice. However, I expect a response from you within three days. Really? We can actually join? Give me one second. Does it have any consequences? Druid. After that, I turn into Frigil and open the branch of quest. I don't think it has any consequences about, upon uh, the main class, like the Shaman has, for example. So... Let's try and do it. <laughs> Wait a minute. I want to become a druid. Are you sure? Yes. So be it. Follow me. So we're a dark mage. Wait a second, let's get his turnips. Really? We cannot get them with the quick loot. This is annoying. Okay, let's go become a druid. Druid. It might come in handy. Also, get me some plants, Wisp. Is 
he gonna attack me? We begin the ritual. Oh, Adonis, ruler of Serene stands before you. This Come on, Slan. Dedicate himself to serving you. If he is worthy, then give me a sign. If not, then let lightning strike him. What? Be silent. Don't say anything. This person wants to choose the path of a druid, the path created by you. Humbly before you, we wait. The bee is gonna attack me. Ardanus gave us a sign. He considered you worthy. Now you are my apprentice. Take this staff, you might need it. Also, I have prepared the druid stone. From what? now on, part of your strength will be in this stone. Hero total the more damage often you what? transform into animals, the greater the power the stone possesses. May your path be brighter, Dennis. I am waiting for you in the cave. Wait a second. Hero's total damage reduced by 30%. Do I want this? Hmm. Total damage reduced by 30%. Supposed to be a druid, why do you attack me? Dark Mage slash Druid. Good fly. Hmm. Do we? Don't pay him. <laughs> we got new transformations here. We can become a snapper, file lizard, mind crawler, shaman, golem, drake, and draconian. It's quite good. I played it as uh, I was a guru slash druid playthrough but I don't know reduced hero total damage by 30% I don't have a lot of damage to start with could we join something else <laughs> Poison mask reduces fifty percent, and poisons don't work on staffs, so it doesn't work. Hmm. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Wait, Fragile. Poor Mark. Poor Mark. Wait a minute. I pulled out a turnip. You did great. Yes. Excellent. And don't think that you will be left without a reward. <laughs> Hello, hipster. How's it going, my dude? How's it going?
Goblin? No. I don't have mana. Well, you can make them fight each other. What is that? You got bugged. Okay, never mind. Let's become a druid. It's it's we begin fine. The oh, Adonos, ruler of serene waters. Your servant stands before you. This person wishes to dedicate himself to serving you. If he is worthy, then give me a sign. If not, then let lightning strike him. What? Be silent. Don't say anything. This person wants to choose the path of a druid. The path created by you. Humbly before you, we wait. Adonis gave us a sign. He considered you worthy. Now you are my apprentice. Take this staff, you might need it. Also, I have prepared the druid stone. From now on, part of your strength will be in this stone. The more often you transform into animals, the greater the power the stone possesses. May your path be bright, Adonis. I am waiting for you in the cave. Wait a minute. Okay. Teach me the language of the druids. Three learning points. Teach me the language of the druids. That's good, that's good. Then we can learn... Druid, druid transformations. Druid, druid skills. Teach me the skill. Mana regeneration. Heroes health effect transformation. Collecting items. Health regenerate. It's cool. Then the transformations. Teach me how to learn how to transform into a specific creature. Your stone must possess the necessary power. You will also need the soul stone of such a creature. Usually, the strongest representatives of their species possess the necessary soul stones. Okay. Dragon Snapper. Fire Lizard. Onion. We're gonna see. For now... There will be assignments. Yes, I have a small task for you. As you understand, I haven't seen any of my brothers for a whole bunch of years. I don't even know if they are alive. Do you want me to find druids? Yes, if it works out. How will I recognize them? You're my student. You'll understand right away. I hope all is well with them. Okay, I'll try to find out. About the... Okay. I want to increase my magic powers. No, we're not gonna... Teach me... Learn mana. But I'm gonna learn mana regen. Ultragen would be good. Collecting items. So good. Very good, actually. Okay. Let's see. I got... My druid stone. I can be a boar. 
guess we can kill some monsters or get killed by some monsters. Wow. There is stone enchanted. Leveled up. That's good. How much? I got level 1. We need level 7 for the Dragon Snapper transformation. Level 2. The board is strong. Horse is strong with the board. Ooh. I don't think I can take a Shadow Beast though. Look at that, they're actually attacking. Oh! He's still the... He's still my pet. That's so cool. Maybe I can make him attack uh, Shadow Beast. Yep, he did. <laughs> he damaged him a bit. Okay. Let's see what else can we kill. Level up. Nice. Maybe we can get the other lizards as well. Nice. I love this boar army. Not bad being a druid. damaged <laughs> one hit let's 
getting dark, indeed it is. Save. No, not Gina. Transformation. I think we can get this guy. Yes. Level 5. That's cool, that's cool. We leveled up fast. I'm not gonna try. I wanted to try killing the shadow beast, but I'm only gonna die. There's no point. Bridge here. But. go. He almost got me though. The magic tablet. Okay, that's it. I thought maybe I could make level 7, but... So... Hello. The other side of the bridge, maybe. First, let's heal. Six. One health. It's not good. Heal. I'm gonna sleep because it's uh, it's dark. There we go. It's morning now. Let's drink. Eat. Actually. Save and then uh, go. <laughs> oh no. Actually. Not too bad. One learning point. Demon heart. We kill uh, 
I don't know how many rabbits the demon spawned. Oh, little razor. Level 7, isn't it? Yes. We can transform into a snapper right now. I think. Go, go. Okay. It's two. The temple looks ancient, and also that statue on top. The temple looks ancient, and also the statue on top. There's a lizard man on top of it. This is really cool. <laughs> we got a few mantis heads. We can make some intellect potion. What? Wait. I can climb this. That's the top, there's nothing else up here. The wisp did get potion. Probably from the skeleton over there. Okay. Pedestal. I use it. Okay. Another giant spider. Better not kill me. Don't like spiders. <laughs> Anything else? No. I think I killed everything. much we can go towards the swamp yes we carry on on this path past the temple there's another spider somewhere here. because yeah why not and this some items in this cave I think. He turn off the wisp. Yep. 
I can save. Out here. Didn't mean to summon Gina. I don't know if this guy will attack me. Anna. Ancient runic tiles. Cave crystal. I think the Muritana will kill me, so I'm. <laughs> I mean, I don't kid. I don't think I'm sure. We're not gonna try to kill them, but there's an ancient runic tile there. Uh, the Porter Stone over here. Achievement unlock, Pilgrim. Swamp again. I hate the swamp. <laughs> oh, we got the swamp golems. He's gonna kill me. Uh, I survived. Sun Aloe. We found the Sun Aloe. Okay. Something like that. But I'm gonna go back. Because uh, I don't have health. Also, speak to the, to the druid. About the druids. Haven't found nothing yet. Learn transformations. I can snap it. Now, if I shift P, <laughs> uh, G. Press F to select this transformation. Okay. You're bleeding damage. And it has a very good but running speed. Wait a minute. You can use it to travel a lot. Uh, but since I learned the Druid language, let's see if we can read any tablets. Yes. Magic tablet gives us intellect and mana. Two of each. That's it. <laughs> we need to go investigate and also bring him, uh, bring him some food. I don't have bread. I think I have everything else. I need five bread. We only got four. Can I go to the Valley of the Mines and become the leader of the pack there? <laughs> Probably. Can I go to the Valley of the Mines and become the leader of the pack there? Uh, 
don't know if I can uh, take care of that tower. Oh, it's further the other way. Never mind. I think we can go until the pirates that uh, we found Druid. So, did you find your friend? Yes, he lives in the forest. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, your boat was carried away by the current overnight. We won't need it anymore. Clear. Well, we'll leave this coast at the first opportunity. Won't be able to. But I'll take you to Drakenda, don't you worry. You'll reunite with Greg. <laughs> Dark Mage Druid. Search of the Druid. Our food. East Coast. Weapons for the pirates. I love this uh, area over here, but um, we're gonna we're gonna end it here for this episode. We're gonna continue in the next one, exploring more of the area. Невозможно. For now, that will uh, have to be it for this one. It's been interesting, and we're gonna find out more about the druids. We're gonna go finish the quest, and then. Uh, no, <laughs> no, I thought it, it's not gonna work. I'm actually surprised. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna find some more tablets and learn more history of the druids. It's gonna be interesting. This place is very mystical and uh, the story is very cool. But uh, that will be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying. And if you do, please consider giving a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, all the best.